I'll be showing you step by step how to add or integrate the Shopify banner slider to your homepage. So let's start from our Shopify admin. We want to navigate to the theme section, which is available on the left hand side under online store. This should open up the theme section automatically. But from there, we want to navigate to customize under our currently installed and published theme. It should be a black button here called customize. If I click on this element, it now opens up my Shopify theme settings where I can go and customize just about anything related to my theme here. I'm currently on the home page, as we can see from the top. And let's go and add a banner slider to our home page. So I'm going to start by removing this image banner, just clicking the trash icon here. And I'm going to go over to add section. This should be under templates here on the left hand side menu. And I want to navigate to what's called slideshow. So this is going to be a slideshow of different banner images. So before I customize it, I'm going to select it on the left hand side, hover over the six dots, and I'm going to drag this to the top here as I think that is the standard practice for putting your slideshow. So next let's go and customize our image banner. So I'm going to select the element again, and then on the right hand side, it should open up a sub menu here that we can go and edit. So first I'm going to select my image of my first image slide. We'll do the second one after this, but I'm going to explore free images, staff favorites. And I'm just going to select this first image here at the bottom, right? There should be a select button. So if I click that there, that's adding my image. Next, I can set my heading. I'm just going to call this discover our summer collection. You can make this whatever you want here. We can set the heading size to small, medium, or large. We can also set a subheading. You can also remove it if you like by leaving it empty. Next, we can decide our button. And I can just call this shop now. Now for the link, we can set this to maybe a specific collection or page on our store. So I'm going to click into this bar here then click on collections and I'll just select the summer collection. We can set it to be an outline style. So if we toggle this here, we can see instead of having a solid background, it's going to have an outline. We can also set whether to show this container on desktop. If I remove it here, it's removing that background. I'll just leave it there for now as it's easier to read. We also can slide here our image overlay opacity. So by dragging this up, it's going to darken the image behind it. I'll leave this as zero for now. We can also set our color scheme or go and change those different colors in our color scheme by clicking edit. So that is our first slide image in our banner slider. Let's go and edit our second banner now. So on the left hand side, I'm going to select image slide and this will open up our second version. If I go to the center here and click on the arrow, I can see what it looks like. So we can see how it's going to be changed as we edit it. For this one, let's select a second image, clicking on shop local, and I'll select this element. I'm going to remove the heading, remove the subheading, and I'm going to change the button label to shop close. This is the image I set for the button link. I'll just maybe give it a different collection for camping this time. But if I click on this arrow now at the bottom, I can see my new background image for my second slide. If you want to remove these, you can hover over them on the left hand side, clicking the trash icon. You can also add a new slide by clicking the add slide button. Now for some overall settings, if we click on slideshow, so this will open up a menu on the right hand side. We can set the layout to be full width or grid. I'm going to leave this as full width as I think this looks a little nicer. We can set the slide height. It could be small, medium, or large. We can have it adapted to the first image size. For pageation style, I can set it to dots, a counter, or numbers. We can see this changes at the bottom here. We can also set it to auto rotate the slides at a certain time interval. By default, it's going to be set to five seconds. For image behavior, we can give it some ambient movement. So we can see if I hold this still here, the image looks to be moving slightly, looks to be just panning across the image. I'll just leave this as none. For the mobile layout, we can set to show content below images on mobile. I'll leave this as default and we can give it a slideshow description for accessibility. But to finalize all these changes, I'm going to go to the top right hand side and click on save. Before I go, I want to say that if you made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of your profit. So you should check out our sponsor profit calc, a one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It's a one click calculator that syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts and many cost of goods sold options. You can find it in the Shopify app store by looking for profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below where you can get a 15 day free trial to test drive everything for yourself. So this concludes the video here on how to add a image banner to your Shopify Dawn theme. I hope this video helped. And if it did, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below 
If you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.